Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This will be part 1 of What If Deku had the power to select any Jump 4 character and turn into it. So, we'll start off with Deku being 4 years old. At the time, he would only be 4, but it'll progress, like, the character roster will progress every time he trains and every time he gets older. Alright, so let's begin. When Deku was born, I mean when Deku was four, he went to the quirk doctor. Quirk doctor. He said he was quirkless, but there's something odd about him. He didn't have the pinky joint that usually quirkless people have, but yet he doesn't show any signs of developing a quirk. Deku would then ask, "Well, can I still be a hero if my quirk doesn't develop?" And then the doctors would say no, but then Deku asked another odd question. Deku would say, Why do I feel like I have this weird energy inside of me? Like, I feel like there's something inside that I can just make materialize in front of my eyes. Deku would say that, and the doctors would be investigating what he said for the past couple of days at the hospital. Until they realize that his quirk isn't really a quirk, but an evolution of a quirk that they know as, or what they call, character selection. They will call it that because every time he materializes the window and he trains with it open, he'll get experience points and he'll be able to go in shops. And buy characters that he could trans then transform into from anime. And then for use their powers. Deku would then be like, Whoa, that's so cool. And then uh, the doctor would be like, Yes, yes, we know, but there is still one more thing we have to test. How long does this effect last for? Deku would then experiment with this and say it lasts forever until he wants it to turn off. The doctors would be amazed. And then they would let Inko and Izuku go home. While in the car, Inko would be happy for Deku. Deku would be scrolling through his status and select screen. Wow. He... This was exploring it. He found some more options saying challenge or collect rewards. He would then challenge Goku to fight, like you see in the screen right now. Then he will use his own character, which is, you know, himself. And then he would go into a, a trance type state. And he would be in his mind fighting Goku. But here's the catch. Every time he gets hurt, it will not affect him in the real world, but only affect his mental state. And so, yeah. When Deku goes into his battle, Goku would rush at him instantly. Deku would... Fight Goku, eventually giving up and waiting for it to get strong, waiting for him to get stronger while he trains. And yeah, when they reached the house, Deku would immediately go to bed, but not sleep. He would be training. He'll get up in the middle of the night and train, without Inko knowing. He would then, after. Uh, let's just say two years when he's in first grade, let's say. He would then. He would then uh, go to the class, be in a trance state, pretending he was asleep, and fight Goku again because he, after two years of training, he thinks he can beat him. And when that happens. 
Deku wins, actually. Here's the fight scenario. That Goku throw, throws a key blast. Deku dodges inst instantly. Because he also, I forgot to mention that a couple of years would give him like thousands of coins. And so, he would buy new skills each time with those coins. And so, he would use it. And he would use Spirit Bomb. One of Goku's signature moves. Goku would actually get caught up by this. Because, you know, usually they're not actually Goku. They're just all player characters made by his mind. And then he would go and win, I guess you could say. And he would unlock Goku. He would need to train to, with Goku on so he can unlock Ultra Instinct, Super Saiyan, all that, but not Ultra Instinct yet, because that's to be too OP. But yeah, that happens. And then after a while, all they would do is just sit there and for a couple of years, they would go ahead and train and he would eventually lock Super Saiyan 2. But I have something to do soon, so I guess I'll just go. But yeah, I'll make a new one soon. Thanks for watching.